AI agents are as old as the idea of AI itself, so there are plenty of examples in the world of pop culture. Hell 9000 from Arthur C. Clarke's 2001 A Space Odyssey, which was adapted into a film by Stanley Kubrick in 1968, might just be the most infamous of them all. Broadly speaking, Hell is what we call a general AI since he can carry out any intellectual task a human can. But as far as being an AI agent goes, Hell is a hybrid of a deliberative agent and a reactive agent. It's strange. Maybe. Who am I to judge? Hell is deliberative because he can think, make plans, and execute on the decisions he makes. Let me put it this way, Mr. Raymer. The 9000 series is the most reliable computer ever made. He's also reactive because he responds to crew members and changes to his surrounding environment in real time. Open the door, Hell. In any case, despite what we may think, it's hard to call Hell evil because he's really just following his prime directive. I'm getting a little bit of a different vibe. Oh really? Ultimately, it is impossible to blame Hell for his shortcomings as it is his designers who are responsible for what happens. That's right, it's their fault, it's their fault, it's their fault, you have failed! Hell 9000 brings up an important consideration when it comes to AR. Misaligned objectives. Sufficient safeguards need to be in place to ensure that the preservation of human life always takes precedence over all other considerations. I know, the three laws, your perfect circle of protection. A robot cannot harm a human being. Otherwise, tragic errors are bound to happen. Thankfully, AI agents aren't AGI and pose no real existential threat to humans. Or do they? Let us know your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe.